The country chef in Wilton just opened its doors when the pandemic struck. Owner Holly Sakala just laid off seven employees this week and locked the doors today. In the last three weeks, it's been horrible. The CEO of the New Hampshire Restaurant and Lodging Association estimates at least 200 restaurants statewide have closed and is frustrated by health officials' focus on dining establishments. The restaurant industry has just become an easy target, and that's really quite unfortunate. Summers suggests restaurant dining might even be safer than a small gathering in your own home. Here's why. You know, the ventilation in these restaurant uh, establishments with the hood systems that they have, they replace the air in that building every 8 to 12 minutes because the average house is not circulating air. They're not filtering air with HEPA filters and all the other things that are happening. Social distancing is likely not happening. Masks likely aren't being worn. Restaurant owners are balancing health requirements, protecting their employees, and watching the bottom line. And Summers says something has to give. The governor's office responded to the White House guidance with a statement that says, in part, the state actively enforces these guidelines, which have been approved and vetted by public health, and constantly looks at the data in New Hampshire and surrounding states in order to inform decision making. Mike Summers says the frustration is compounded by Congress's delay in passing a new relief package. Reporting live this evening, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.